What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a while, but A&O is finally back, and I got stuck on the General Zero Hour 4th USA parking thing, so I'm moving on to Black Mesa, and which is a like an HD remake of uh, Half-Life 1, and contrary to popular belief, it's act there's actually uh, they actually made the level like there's some significant difference from the level design and I think they did a great job and we're going to start a new game I really think they did a great job with uh, the, this remake because um, it, it's like I think it's even better than ha some of Half Life Two, Half Life Two's uh, designs. Well, they're using uh, Half Life Two engine, I think, and uh, it fits well. It's gonna. This might take. A, oh wait, oh it's almost done. Like, uh, Half-Life is notorious for its long, uh, loading screens. But in the game, they're not really that long. And look how beautiful this game plays out. This is our descent into a laboratory. This is kind of like a Area 51 kind of place. Black Mesa, New Mexico. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 oh, a.m. Only Half-Life fans will be Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of... One hundred and five. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Oh, here's a loading screen. Told you guys we're gonna hit one. And it's hope it's not that long. Like I've already made I've already done a run of this game. Do 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 Okay, maybe I was wrong, and it is a pretty taxing loading screen, but it's worth it, because... There you go. Half-Life has to have the one of the longest intros. But this train is inbound from level 3 dormitories to... Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in, in Area 9 and board a high security train. That's a nuke. I'll try to be quiet whenever If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Just that detail. Priority seat for people who are disabled pregnant or less able Due to Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking Eating or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa Transit System. 
got it. They all just see why you died. They, they, don't, they don't even give you a hammer. They tell you to break it with a hammer. And they don't give you a hammer. Just listen to the music. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. doesn't really talk much there's like not it's uh more inferred dialogue when you're in the game like the ai will take pauses whenever they talk to you and you just have to assume that your guy is talking but you don't actually hear dialogue from gordon freeman because um the developers like wanted you to to feel like it was you that was gordon freeman This is really successful, I might even do the other half-lives that are within my reach, such as opposing force. Oh, there we go. Gordon Freeman, male, age 27. Will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Look at this, listen to the amount of detail they put even in the dialogues and the announcements and all that. It makes you feel like you really are in this top secret lab research facility in New Mexico. Clearance level 3. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Okay, we are definitely almost there, guys. 
Oh, there's a G-Man. There's a G-Man. You see that guy that talks over there? That's Half-Life's famous G-Man. He's this entity that pretty much follows you throughout the game. We'll see a bunch of him. Now arriving at... Here we are. Sector C test labs and control facilities. And Half-Life begins. Loading screen, but we're, at least we're gonna finally walk out of this track. Ugh. This guy's just staring at me. Oh, come on, come on, load, load. Can't wait to uh, get to the famous power suit. Never gets old. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks, like you're running late. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, his bar tab. That's a running gag in the Half-Life series. Um, Barney, call him, is pretty much Gordon's best friend, and uh, he always offers him a drink, and they would pretty much do everything, and they were always bet drinks. Yeah, right, I'll see ya. Alright, let me see, man. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. <laughs> That's also like a Easter egg. I like, I like how Valve puts in all these Easter eggs. Like the original design, they were originally gonna have them have a ponytail. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Yeah, one of those. They areas. were also having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Oh, the hazard suit. Boop, beep, beep. Get away from there, Get away from there Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Shut up, I have a PhD in this. Gordon, don't touch that. I can touch whatever I want. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Yelling at me. Go use another computer. Oh, oh wow, you kicked me out. Hmm. There's this the uh, see this thing right here? That's the famous alarm that some guy found and everyone's been pressing it. And I will continue on the tradition. Hey, it's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? The horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Murtaugh, come in. Murtaugh, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident little up here, accident. sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Not uh, copy. Damn, Gordon. Oh man. I love doing this. Hmm. Why do you insist on picking over everything in my lab? In lab? This is the main lobby. Gordon, right. please. You're scaring me. <laughs> You're scaring me. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Thermal protection system seems to be online now. Yes, I can. Those TPS reports have gotten pretty worse. Hard to find good okay. help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. Can't run yet because I don't have my suit. So. Okay, I don't think it's this way. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. Got the wrong airlock, like Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Alright. 
This is really great what they did here. They're making Half-Life using the Half-Life engine, Half-Life 2 engine. Morning, champ. Hello. What the hell? <laughs> That's also an old Half-Life 1 Easter egg. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Oh, never gets old. Just gotta continue the traditions. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? my locker. Oh, flight stand, Wilson Freeman. Uh, that probably has to do with something. Um, this refills the charge in your suit, which we will see soon enough. There it is. Dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Are you ready, friends? Oh wait, I, I have to open up the case. It's all that detail, too. Oh yeah. There we go. Badass music. Turn it on. Sprint. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Ah. I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Gotcha. Emergency is an emergency. Oh, thank heaven. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Welcome. You gotta enjoy this music. The Mark III. It's like Iron Man. Go right on go. through, sir. Looks like yes, you're in I the am. barrel today. Yes, I am. I am the, in the barrel. In the barrel. Ah, Gordon. And this is pretty much the aerial view of Black Mesa. And, oh, we're going to be seeing that later. The hydroelectric dam. going to be some epic battles. If you want me to explore more, just uh, comment in the comment section and tell me go find some Easter eggs and like, slow down a bit. Otherwise, I'm just gonna I'll, I'll sleep around a little bit, but for the most part, I'll just get through the missions. Oh, I'm definitely not gonna go and achieve achievement hunting unless if it's unless it goes along with uh, completing the mission. I'm gonna be splitting like these uh these episodes into uh these the into um by chapter unless it gets too long like this one i'm pretty sure is like 15 minutes long by now and uh that's because fraps takes a, a lot of memory to use did you catch that last fluctuation Hey, it's nothing to worry about. about my ass. It's gonna be the whole it's gonna be the whole thing that causes this mess. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. What's up, not Doc? much, man. Not much. Did I see you before? No, I didn't. I don't think I didn't have a beard. Ready for another rousing day? Yes, I am. Yes indeed. Mr. Spock is ready. Litter! Are you kidding me? Litter! Sure. Uh. Do I waltz into your office unannounced this ain't and proceed no to run amok? Wrong with your I think not. I have a PhD. Gordon Freeman. There we go. If another instrument malfunctions today, Good I'm going you. to explode. Everyone thinks their office Please is relax. Like, Things could be much, much worse. For the li these people don't know what an office looks like, and there's so much litter. 
french fries. I'll, I'll be carrying this around. Ah, Gordon. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Yes, Bit of a gamble, but we mm -hmm. needed the extra resolution. Uh, the administrator very is very concerned. concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're Game waiting for you, Gordon, triangle. in the test chamber. Just like half life. Right. One. Come on then. I'll walk you down. Triangle. Except he was a little more scary because they didn't have the hair and they're all generic white bald scientists. Eli has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. And greetings, these two Eli. Will reappear in Half Life 2. Good morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. They're, they're a bit strange to oh. just. Oh! oh. Critical, it's about indeed. to go critical. Indeed, Mr. Spock. Fix it. What's the analysis? What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was. Never meant Indeed. to do this in the Indeed. first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle you ourselves, can Eli. Run along, Gordon. Mm -hmm. Run along, Gordon. I'm already we'll be but a moment. Close. Act of oh. do, do, do. They should have voice command. Connect. <laughs> Everyone hates to connect. <laughs> By Beckrell's ghost. Who says that the radiation level is off the charts. I really want to see who this Beckrell's ghost is. Kind of. Undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, <laughs> you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over yep, here. Push your this one. education Stand really through. Oh, there you are. Everybody's See, been looking for you, I'll break. Go back home. Finally, some Spanish speaking. Oh, people. here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard Indeed. analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. No, no. As long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't don't. need to hear yes, all of this. I'm He's a highly trained, trained professional. professional. Watch me stack We've these assured errors. the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Bam. I yes. am a professional. Oh, oh, jeez. We have complete ah. confidence in you. Dope, it's 180 degrees. Well, 90 go degrees, ahead. 90 degrees, Let's 90 degrees. Let's let him in. Activate the doors. This is Spock. Check the Enterprise. We have entered. Not that even close to Vulcan. Yeah, what do I do again? Oh, okay. Just run around. Kinda just stared at me. Testing. 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 <coughs> Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Everything yep, seems to be in order. suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, yeah, if right you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, oh. that way we can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until Indeed. the carrier arrives. Okay. Oh, look at that. We even got a camera of those two guys. Let's do this. Rotor start. Begin the Death Star. Put we'll a take lot it of here. effort into this. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing.
being predictable phase arrays. And this scene is just so much better in HD compared to Half-Life 1. Stage you guys should move that off Half-Life 1. Now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Nor how long it can take. Uh, Alright, bring me up the specimen. We can do this. Overhead capacitors. 105%. 105%, Commander. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy. Well, no. It's well, right, right, right. That's so why we're having this game, guys. Yeah. I'm here for a reason playing this game because it should there's be something going to go critical. wrong with this freaking machine right here. Your should be coming up. Alright. Alright. There we go. There we go. This rock is going to cause all of it. And uh, let's do it. Let's start this. The disaster that makes Gordon Freeman from standard a insertion. legend, not standard like Chuck Norris times five million. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Oh, 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 shut it down! 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 Oh, they're dead. They're dead. I'm sorry. Alright, he's knocked out, we understand. Oh, he's high also. He is high and he's being Ooh, Vortigons. We're gonna be seeing a bunch of these guys later. Half Life 2, they are your friends, but uh, in this game, kind of. And then I think I might be stopping the video here. Please like and subscribe and uh, come back next time. Right after this loading screen, of course. And uh, I also have links to my website, Facebook page, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Everyone loves Twitter. Hashtag, hashtag ANO, hashtag Alpha and Xmega. And we're going to leave off here. Unforeseen consequences. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, man.